we should thank Andrew J. Miller. You know, a lot of people don't know who Andrew Miller is these days, but in the 1800s, Andrew Miller was perhaps the most successful, revered, and trusted political servant in the city of Augusta. In the 1840s, he convinced everyone that it would be a good idea to rebury two of George's three signers of the Declaration of Independence and put them beneath a proper monument in front of the courthouse in Richmond County here in Augusta. And that's what they did. They reburied Lyman Hall and George Walton right in front of the old courthouse. But Georgia had three signers to the Declaration of Independence. The third was Button Gwinnett. And there's a mystery about him, and I'll tell you about that when we get back. Not too long after Gwinnett signed the Declaration of Independence, he came back to Georgia. He got in a political argument with another patriot, Lachlan McIntosh. They decided to fight a duel. McIntosh was the better shot. Gwinnett ended up dead. He was buried in Christ Church Cemetery in Savannah and pretty much forgotten. No, really, they forgot where they buried him. They thought they knew. And in the 1950s, they decided to rebury him someplace with some honors. They dug up what they thought were his bones. And while they were doing that, the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. heard about it. And they said, we would like it if you could sort of send those bones up to us because we studied bones like that from the colonial era and then Savannah agreed. Then they got the report back. The report stated, these are the bones of a colonial era woman. Well. We're left with three possibilities. One, they got the wrong bones. As I said, colonial burial techniques were not that precise. Two, they'd made a mistake in the test. Now this is what Savannah thought happened. They dug around and found a few more bones and things in that grave site and they sent them up and the, the forensic expert doing the test said, yes indeed, these are the bones of a, of a colonial era male and, and I think this is probably Button Gwinnett. But then there's the third possibility, perhaps the most intriguing, is that Gwinnett was actually a woman. A woman who in a colonial era uh, dominated by men in both politics and, and war and mercantilism decided to portray herself as a man in a man's world and, and exist and succeed. If so, Augusta may be short a button, but Georgia and our nation is short one founding father.